And then finally, um, and a lot of this has been in the news recently, uh, China is actively, in my view, distorting the global information and communication technology standards regime um, as a matter of industrial policy to help its companies, uh, but also has interesting security implications for us. And it all began because Beijing didn't want to pay royalties. They didn't want to pay royalties to Erwin Jacobs at Qualcomm for CDMA, so they paid a lot of money to a lot of numbered institutes, and China has a corresponding domestic protocol for almost every information and communication thing that you could imagine. So there's a Chinese high-definition television protocol. There's a Chinese wireless security protocol, WAPI. Uh, there's a Chinese 3G wireless, a 4G wireless. And almost every single one of these has been rejected by the international standards bodies, the UNISO, IEEE, the Internet Engineering Task Force. But when I say they distort the standards regime, it's because all of this equipment is being made in China. And for those products to be certified in China, they have to be certified by the Chinese regulator. And the Chinese have made it very clear that unless companies integrate these rejected standards into their equipment, and oh, by the way, here's the approved list of Chinese companies that you have to partner with and share your crypto source code with to build the APIs to your technology. Um, they won't allow the products to be built in China, certified in China, which of course is the big market everyone wants to sell in. USTR, other elements of the US government resisted this for years. Um, and then finally, Nokia was the first to break. Um, and then everyone broke, particularly on WAPI. So here is my iPhone 6, right? And inside this phone is a dual WAPI Wi-Fi chipset. Took a long time to find that out, though, because if you try and Google that, Apple has done a very good job of scrubbing any reference to the fact that there is a Chinese wireless security chipset inside this phone which, and I'm happy to get into this in the Q&A, is one of about a half dozen technical compromises that Apple has given into the, to the Chinese government about, um, any one of which makes the FBI's recent request uh, look like a walk through the park. Uh, but they don't want you to know about any of that uh, because they want to maintain the sanctimonious high ground by arguing, well, if we comply with this FBI request, authoritarian regimes are going to ask us for the same thing. They've done a hell of a lot more than that with Beijing, with the data centers, with the iCloud management, with Apple ID registration, with the security in the phone and the crypto and everything else, um, far more than the US government is asking them to do. And why? Because like good Marxist, this is my Marxist analysis, it's $59 billion in iPhone sales in China. That's why. Um, but inside this chipset, you call Apple Developer Connection and you ask them about it. And they say, well, you know, the Chinese gave us that, that WAPI chipset black boxed. We don't know anything about it. I'm like, really? Is this the paranoid control freak Apple corporation I had been hearing about my whole life? So there's something in the phone you don't know about. I said, well, what's the frequency of the WAPI uh, wireless security? Well, well, we don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? What about antenna interference? I mean, all this other stuff. I said, well, tell me about the crypto algorithms. I said, I want to build a WAPI node detector app. And they're like, well, three out of four of the crypto algorithms were told that, to us that they were state secrets from the State Encryption Management Bureau of the MSS, um, so we don't know what they are. And I said, so there could be a rogue WAPI node in this room communicating with my iPhone and God knows how, God knows what freak, you know, interrogating the data in my phone. I have no idea. You know, and that was one of a series of technical decisions that Apple made in order to be able to, quote unquote, comply with Chinese law and be able to have a single unified production chain. Because this, this is exactly the same phone you buy in China. They don't, there's not a China phone and then a rest of world phone. Uh, Chinese wouldn't allow them to do that. Um, and so when you have a phenomena like that where the Chinese can leverage market access in order to foist inferior standards um, into uh, Western equipment, with very little transparency, I might add. You can't find a single technical specification diagram on any Apple website about those chipsets. And we only found it because we tore the phone apart and violated the EULA and everything else, popped the top on it, you know, violated my Apple warranty. Just for good measure, we just dumped a bunch of water on it, 